A couple of years back when we used to talk about AI agents, it used to sound like a tale from the future. But now, not only are they here, but they are also imposing threat to the human job market. They're already answering customer calls, designing buildings, writing ad copy, and even diagnosing medical conditions. And here's the thing, they don't get tired, don't ask for raises, and they're getting smarter by the day. The question is, will they take your job or will they help you get ahead? According to McKinsey, 2024, over 60% of large enterprises have adopted some form of AI agents to automate parts of their workflow. Today, we will understand where these systems came from, how they're already changing industries today, and most importantly, how to position yourself to thrive in a future where AI agents become ubiquitous. Whether you're a student choosing a career path, a professional considering a pivot, or just curious about where technology is heading, this video is is for you. This is a really groundbreaking technology because it's going to automate and change the world as we know it, specifically in areas like software development, customer service, predictive maintenance. You think about a factory shop floor and being able to use agentic AI to solve problems before something breaks or before there's a problem on the shop floor. So there's a lot of different ways that agentic AI is going to completely transform the business world as we know it. AI agents are more than just chat bots or clever algorithms. They're digital workers with goals, capable of planning, reasoning, and acting with a surprising level of autonomy. Unlike traditional software, which waits for you to click buttons, AI agents can take initiative. You can assign them a goal, like scheduling meetings, summarizing legal contracts, or building a basic website, and they'll figure out the steps to get it done, often without needing step-by-step -step instructions. Tools like AutoGPT, Devon, and Claude are early examples of this new era, and they're not limited to text. They're managing workflows, making business decisions, and even hiring other agents to help them. Agentic AI basically means that you have an AI that has agency. It can perceive and understand the context of the circumstance. It can reason, very importantly, it can reason about how to answer or how to solve a problem. and. It can plan an action. It can plan and take action. It can use tools because it now understands multimodality information. It can go to a website and look at the format of the website, words and videos, maybe even play a video. Learns from what it learns from that website, understands it and come back and use that information, use that newfound knowledge to do its job. The idea of thinking machines dates back over a century, but things really kicked off in the 1950s with Alan Turing's famous question, can machines think? By the 1980s, expert systems were making decisions in fields like medicine and engineering using hard-coded logic. These were the first true AI agents, but they were brittle, limited, and couldn't learn from new data. Fast forward to the 2000s tens, and a revolution began with deep learning and neural networks. The real explosion came in 2017 with the invention of transformers. The tech behind today's large language models like GPT, Claude, and Gemini. Suddenly, machines could understand and generate human-like language. In 2022, ChatGPT went mainstream, and within a year, we saw the rise of agentic AI, systems that could act independently to complete complex tasks. Today, they're becoming collaborators, co-workers, and in some cases, replacements. In today's workforce, AI agents are everywhere, even if you don't see them. In customer service, they handle over 80% of basic support tickets without human help. In finance, robo-advisors are managing investment portfolios, detecting fraud, and automatically generating reports that used to take analysts hours. In customer service, 30% of Fortune 500 companies are now using AI agents to manage Tier 1 support, reducing staffing needs by 30 to 40 percent. In healthcare, AI systems are reading x-rays, triaging symptoms, scheduling appointments, and even monitoring patient recovery, freeing up human professionals for higher value tasks. Retail and e-commerce are also being transformed. AI agents now predict inventory needs, create product descriptions, adjust pricing dynamically, and personalize shopping experiences in real time. AI can reduce diagnostic errors by up to 85%, streamline administrative
administrative tasks to save 20% of a healthcare provider's time, and personalized treatments to improve patient outcomes by 30% to 40%. Manufacturing is a big one. Smart factories now run on AI-powered systems that predict maintenance issues, optimize production schedules, and reduce waste. Even creative industries aren't safe. AI is helping design ad campaigns, write scripts, and produce music. If you think creativity is safe from automation, think again. The classroom, also changing. AI tutors are personalizing education for millions helping teachers focus on what really matters. Over the next decade, AI agents won't just be helpful, they'll be essential. These agents will act more like co-workers than tools. Give them a goal, say, launch a new product, and they'll research competitors, write marketing copy, generate visuals, schedule campaigns, and even coordinate with freelancers. The IT department of every company is going to be the HR department of AI agents in the future. As agentic AI evolves from structured task execution to autonomous cross-functional reasoning by 2030, investors should track infrastructure and orchestration platforms poised to dominate this fast-growing market, projected to reach $50.31 billion by decade's end. In your personal life, you'll have AI that handles your calendar, finances, diet, travel, and even your social media. Imagine being a small business owner and having your own team of invisible assistants, all working 24-7, for free or pennies. AI won't just support your work, it might do most of it. I think we're going to live in a world where there are going to be hundreds of millions of billions of different AI agents, eventually probably more AI agents than there are people in the world. A lot of what we're focused on is giving every creator and every small business um, the ability to create AI agents for themselves, making it so that every person on our platforms can create their own AI agents that they want to interact with. And if you think about it, these are just huge spaces, right? So there are hundreds of millions of small businesses in the world. And one of the things that I think is really important is basically making it so with a relatively small amount of work, a business can basically, a few taps, stand up an AI agent for themselves that can do customer support, sales, communicate with all their people, uh, all their customers. I think that every business in the future, just like they have an email address and a website and a social media presence today, I think every business is gonna have an AI agent that their customers can talk to in the future. But here's the thing, agents will start replacing whole layers of the workforce, especially people who repeat tasks, follow rules, or work in highly structured environments. The question isn't if this is happening, it's how fast. Some jobs are more vulnerable than others. Entry-level white-collar roles, like admin assistants, data entry clerks, junior analysts, paralegals, and customer support representatives are already being automated. These are roles built around structure, repetition, and clear rules, all things AI agents thrive on. Even parts of high-skill jobs are being carved out. In law, basic legal research and contract reviews are now handled by AI. In journalism, some outlets use AI to draft sports summaries and financial news. In software development, agents like Devin can now write, test, and deploy code from scratch. And in design and marketing, AI is generating brand campaigns with almost zero human input. But it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, some people are already winning, not despite AI, but because of it. Those who succeed in this new era will be the ones who understand how to use AI as a multiplier, not a threat. If you're creative, strategic, empathetic, or visionary, you can let AI handle the grunt work while you focus on higher value decisions. Developers who know how to prompt AI, orchestrate agents, and debug machine-generated code are building faster than ever. Marketers who understand human psychology and storytelling are using AI to create more targeted, effective campaigns. Teachers, designers, consultants, and entrepreneurs, those who learn to collaborate with AI will see see their productivity and influence explode. So how do you future-proof yourself? It starts with rethinking your skills. AI won't replace people who are curious, flexible, and tech-savvy. It'll replace those who refuse to adapt. If you're in business or marketing, get fluent with AI tools for content generation, automation, and data analysis. If you're in healthcare, stay sharp on the latest AI diagnostics and focus on the human side of medicine, empathy, ethics, and judgment. In 
Education, don't just deliver information, teach critical thinking and AI literacy. If you're in tech, don't just code, learn to manage AI workflows, evaluate models, and build intelligent systems. And if you're in logistics, manufacturing, or trades, learn how to coordinate with AI-powered systems and robots. Vocational skills aren't going away, they're becoming more digital. Now let's be a little specific on how you can do that based on your career level. If you're a student, focus on capabilities that AI struggles with. Creativity, ethical reasoning, interpersonal communication, and complex problem solving. According to LinkedIn's 2024 Workplace Learning Report, demand for these skills has increased by 65% over the past two years. The most valuable workers will be those who can effectively partner with AI systems. Consider courses specifically teaching human AI collaboration methods. While not everyone needs Needs to become a programmer, understanding how AI systems work and their limitations will be essential across industries. Consider AI-adjacent fields like cybersecurity, data ethics, human-computer interaction, and UX design are growing fields closely related to AI development. Develop domain expertise and AI knowledge, as the most valuable professionals will combine deep domain knowledge with AI capabilities. Medicine plus AI law plus AI, or finance plus AI specialists will command premium salaries. If you are in the mid of your career, analyze which aspects of your job could be automated and which require uniquely human skills. Invest in strengthening the latter. Upskill yourself many platforms like Coursera, edX, and specialized boot camps offer targeted AI-related training. Consider certifications in AI implementation or management. Become an AI implementation leader. Leader. as organizations need people who understand both the business and the technology to lead AI transformation initiatives. Learn to use AI tools relevant to your industry. Those who can 10 times their productivity using AI will be highly valued. And last but not the least, look for opportunities within your current organization to move into more AI-focused roles. By 2030, AI and advanced tech are expected to create 19 million jobs and displace 9 million, with 60% of employers predicting digital access will transform their business. Skills like AI-driven data analysis, cybersecurity, and tech literacy are quickly becoming the most in-demand worldwide. The new power skill, knowing how to work with AI agents, prompt engineering, data fluency, problem framing. These will be as basic as typing or Googling used to be. We're standing at an inflection point in human history. AI agents represent a fundamental shift in how work gets done and how we interact with technology. Yes, this transition will be disruptive. Some jobs will disappear, but history has shown that technological revolutions ultimately create more opportunities than they eliminate. Though those opportunities opportunities often look different than what came before. The rise of AI agents isn't the end of work, it's the start of a new chapter. Some roles will vanish, others will evolve, and entirely new careers will be born. So ask yourself, are you learning how to use AI or ignoring it? Are you waiting to be replaced or preparing to lead? This is your wake-up call. If you find this video valuable, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content on AI and how it is changing the world. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and share this with someone who needs to hear it. The future isn't waiting, and neither should you.